Hello, my name's Wesley, and yeah, yeah, of course I'm gonna tell them. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm gonna tell them. Okay, calm down. And in case you haven't noticed, Biscuit's here too. Okay, all right. So welcome back to another one of my videos. I'd like to begin by saying, Holly, I've read your comment on Instagram, and yes, as soon as my home is decorated for the holidays, I will be doing a home tour to show you all the amazing things I've done. So it's that time of year once again, and it's finally appropriate to start decorating for the holidays. For some of you, this might mean getting out your old holiday decorations and putting them up in the exact same spots they were last year. For some of you, it may mean buying all new holiday decorations. And for people like me, it means making brand new ones every single year. Now for some of you, holiday decorating may be limited to certain zones or certain areas of your home that you always want to look nice. Personally, my haunted Halloween spectacular bedroom was always a highlight of my year. And my cheerful, merry and bright holiday bathroom dioramas are always well appreciated. Some of you might not want to sleep in a bedroom that's decorated for the holidays all the time. I like to decorate every room in my home. That's because I'm crazy and I have an abundance of time. Now for some people, the mantle or the fireplace is where Christmas happens. They hang their stockings with care, they sit in front of it roasting chestnuts, eating oranges, doing all sorts of Christmas things. Now unlike some other homes in the estate I live, I do not have a fireplace. And every summer when the temperature goes anywhere below 10, they decide it's time to have a fire. And the best supplies to burn? Garbage, of course. Please don't burn garbage in your fireplace. While the weather outside may be frightful, my smile is so delightful. So today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate a picture shelf to look like it's a mantle. And no, I don't mean one of those I painted a black square on my wall and then covered it with an actual mantle. Now I'm pretending it's a fireplace sort of deals. None of that. We're going to admit we do not have a fireplace. So one of my favorite things to do in the holiday season is go out and buy new decorations. I love to see all the setups in the stores and I love to see what everyone new has on offer. But since everyone decided to celebrate their Halloweens and Thanksgivings by joining together in large groups without masks or social distancing, this year I have to limit my exposure to public so I will not be doing much shopping. Which means I'll be using all my old decorations from last year. Now because this project is extra special and requires extra hard work, I have my best friend Biscuit here to help me. He is more than excited and can't wait to get going. So having said all that, let's pretend we have a mantle and decorate for Christmas. Yay! Who is this Mary and Bright anyway? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Mary and Bright! Woo! Yeah, I know that's not your name. It's the joke. So I'm just going to begin by removing all the decor that isn't Christmas. Magic! Now the next step is simply going to be to put up a garland. Just like this one. Oh, it's an excellent boa. Ooh, chic. Fashion, here we are. Heather Boa, is that you? So previous to filming this, I installed some cup hooks under my shelf. So my garland is pre-lit. And for me, that just means I left the lights on from last year. So I'm just going to start by throwing my garland at the wall and hoping it hangs. Wow, that was easy. Luckily for me, my garland has landed in the perfect position. But oh no, it looks like crap. That's because I haven't fluffed it yet. The next step is just to go along and fluff all the branches out. Now once your garland is fully fluffed and installed, the next step is to add ornaments. You can add whatever kind of ornaments you want. If you want to add some ugly things from the dollar store, you feel free. If you want to add some home crafted beautiful crafts, ornaments crafts, feel free. If you want to add nothing and leave it as it is, I mean, it's kind of sparse and a little bit terrible, but go right ahead. I mean, it's your terrible home. I like to use these ornaments that I store in this very expensive box. Whoa, are those ornaments Prada? No, it's just the box. I've decided to stick with a color scheme that is mostly reds, whites, blues, and some other colors. So all the colors, I've decided to use all the colors. So I'm just gonna start by putting in all the big chunky ornaments I have. These things are cool, I'm gonna shove them in somewhere. With ornaments like this, you can just shove them in wherever you like. Ooh, expensive. Now that looks nice. Next, I'm going to throw in this deco mesh that came on a present last year. Fine, you think you could do better? I'd like to see you try. 
Wow, that looks great! And not like it was done by a dog at all! Next, I have these wooden bird ornaments. Some of you may be thinking, hey, aren't those ornaments from a major fashion retailer that I may have been to in the past couple of years? And the answer is yes. In the retail world, every now and then, stores change out their decorations. And when they change them out, all their old decorations have to go somewhere. So sometimes those ornaments are sold to staff. And that's how I acquired these. I really enjoy these because birds mean a lot to me and are one of my favorite animals. Also dogs, I really like dogs. Great, I'm just gonna hang these up. And I'm starting with my big ornaments first so then I can place all my little ones in to fill space. Kinda like you, that's what you do, fill space. Yeah, oh. Whoa, is it an aviary in here or is it just me? Next up I have a handful of stars. These came from the same store. But over the past few years, the little points have broken off. If something doesn't look quite right, just cover it in glitter and no one will notice. Now while I go dig through a box to figure out what else we're going to put on this wreath to make it look normal, Biscuit will be attaching these stars. Wow, Biscuit! You really did a great job with those stars! I better be careful, he's going to put me out of a job. So now that all my big things are up, I can take my container full of little things and just disperse them throughout wherever I need to fill space. All right, my garland is decorated and that's the end of the video. Bye! Just kidding. Now that my garland is finished, the next step is to reincorporate my everyday items because it still has to be my functional home and this looks weird without anything on top of it. Just this star that I'm told Biscuit has a plan for, but he has yet to show me what that is. Wow, that looks great, and my pictures have never looked better, especially these two handsome fellas. Still doesn't look holiday enough, so my next step is to add in some props to spruce up the place a little bit. Most of my art has been put back in place, but what do I do with something like this? This definitely isn't Christmas, but I can't just leave an empty hook on the wall. Whenever you have a piece of art in your home that doesn't work in your decor and looks a little bit too summery to be Christmas, just wrap it like a present. That's better. Wow, that looks so good. People might actually think that's a real present and try to open it. Biscuit, that's not a present. Don't try to open it. No, get out of there. That's not for you. Get out of there. Now that everything is done, here's some close-up footage so you can see exactly how everything turned out in great detail. It's beginning to look like Christmas everywhere I go. Whoa, I can't believe that project went off so well. Did I mention it also lights up? Yeah, you're supposed to plug it in. No, not me, you, you're supposed to plug it in. Yes, yes you, get down there and plug it in. Just goes to show that you don't need to go out and buy new Halloween decorations every year. Actually Christmas, you don't need to buy Christmas decorations. Or Halloween either. Just make them. And it just goes to show that everyone should be allowing their dogs to help out with Christmas decorating. Because as we all know, dogs are more superior than any other creature on the planet and know exactly what to do with Christmas decorating. Yes, yes I said it exactly as you wrote it. So until next time, don't forget to like and comment and send Biscuit a present. Bye!